Welcome to the author's house of scares! <laughs> so, how are we doing tonight, everybody? Tonight's spooky game is... Oh, it already starts off spooky music. Is our remothered Borkin Porcelain. Standard, standard, no, I don't need that. Okay. Uh, controls. Language, yes. Subtitles, yes. Okay, cool. Slut one. Slut one. Tormented Fathers. Is this a sequel game? Uh, okay, yeah, let's see the recap. Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. Huh. Remother, the story so Oh shit, I didn't realize I was playing a sequel. Well, guess what, everybody? We're going to be watching the uh, first game story One together. afternoon, a mysterious woman who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, who see suffers something like from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find oh. out what really happened to Felton's <laughs> missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. And he walks around Upon naked too. That Reed has infiltrated the villa. Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Why? Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Vinoxel. A drug created by Felton, the Ashmans, and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed, and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. Hmm. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton? Okay, so whoops. Uh, we're playing the sequel. <laughs> I guess it's not going to help to play the original game now. We just basically watched the whole game right there. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'm dumb. Oh, well. Oh, well, we got the premise of the story from the first game, so let's go into the second game. Whoops. I can imagine the Simpsons meme is like, boy, I sure hope somebody would fire for that blunder. Are you a survivor of abuse? A war veteran? You must hmm. be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. We have the solution to your problem. Happy pills. Noxil. It isolates and removes your torment, be it an old traumatic event or a bad memory. Say but they'll surface back. <laughs> wow, why is my arm broken? I don't know. I feel happy. Monsters. <laughs> Fucking monsters. Fucking 
fucking drugs. Hi, welcome to the sequel game, apparently, because I don't know You right. can't erase memories forever. It would be like erasing time itself. Memories and time go hand Monia in hand. bottle. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. Is there a rat in there? There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. The memories would Car wander autonomously protecting. in search for answers. Or a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and right. emotional swings. That's the teabagging button. Losing perceptions would coexist, overlapping and threatening one another. Woo. To the detriment of the one truth, now shattered, the so called hide memory. Now don't hide. Oh god. This is spook. <laughs> Oh shit! Shit! Ow! Oh god! Oh god! I didn't realize you were starting off with this spooky! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Shit! Run! 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 Yeah! Ah! Oh shit! He got me! Oh fuck! I'm gonna die! I barely got into the game but I'm already gonna die! Fuck! You can't stab me! Bitch! Huh? Go! Go! Are you fucking serious? Go! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! <laughs> ah! No! No! Oh shit! Oh shit! Alright, just kill me. <laughs> Slap to the face! Broken porcelain. Was that just a prologue? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this is the end of the game. <laughs> nah, that can't be the end of the game. There's no way they make a game where it's like, oh, try to survive as long as possible. Save the game by reaching a hypnosis spot. Mirror with a metronome. Interesting. You know, I tried touching the metronome, didn't work. That all this time, these people kept these experiments synthesizing this parasite. The moths that were hmm. carried out on the nuns at the plantation a secret. Making them intentionally ill as if they were lab rats? Just That's like, right. This drug? That's right. Gotta make people the sick. Nozzle. The farm, the moths. The hypnosis. And all those deep and dark family secrets. Family secrets are very dangerous. The most dangerous of any kind. <laughs> like my family, we the ran only Chuck E. Cheese. to survive was burying them so far down inside ourselves. And to move on. Nobody should ever have to Richard go to a Chuck E. Cheese again. Ariana Gallo. Professor Wyman. Ooh, so the close. Sons, Ariana Grande. Stavano and Gloria Ashman. They all made a choice. To and die. So did I. So you chose to forget. To buy cancer. For 49 years. I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. Good, I'm wearing pants. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced. Like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. That's why I clip them. It is there and always has been. Clip the dirt, clip the memories. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece it's was jigsaw. a special person. Oh, my a lonely you. one. Just like me. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I do apologize that uh, we ended up playing the sequel without even playing the first one first. So I'm like, well, you know. I'm gonna... Run and hide in wardrobes to avoid your stalkers. Nineteen seventy-three. 
Another opportunity to get somebody killed because I'm a stupid idiot. <laughs> mushy mushy. Yes. Mm, hello? Who is this? It's Selma, your dead husband's wife's sister. Ashman? Mr. Ashman. Adria. The girl is here. Shall I let her in? Oh my god, it's Kathy Bates. From Misery. <laughs> I had that dream again where, where I was stabbed by a man in a mask. He only broke my arm you know this time. Here, young lady, don't you? Trying to suck your dick? Trying to get that A in mathematics? By getting the D? Yeah. I'm a prim and proper lady. I can get my own D. I mean, my own A. Thank you very much. Run along now. What? Wait. I just came in here. Why the fuck would you tell me to leave now? Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. We executed her. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Huh? Instead, I have organized to have her transfer to another facility. They will be coming to collect her <laughs> next week. Get rid of the psycho girl. No, get rid of Lindsay. Fuck her. Oh god, she glitched out. She was dancing. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. Okay. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' hmm. death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? They went psycho Dead and killed each other. Here, like all those who grow old. <laughs> and I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning. I like the evening better. For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. <laughs> a dozen nuns died. <laughs> She's just talking and I'm just Ashman's doing whatever. Gloria being one of them. That's terrible. They had contracted some sort of disease. They practically went blind. <laughs> I pay attention to the story. <gasps> Musky. Why? Well, get back here and I'll tell you why. I'm busy collecting keys, leave me alone. Let's just take let's just take this key and leave. Damn, it's locked. Damn, it's locked. It's moth key, don't do anything. Hmm. Ooh, a vending machine. Hey, give me a key, nice. Little girl, if you do not get back here, I will tie you to a bed and break your fucking feet with a goddamn cinder block and sledgehammer. I am Master Kathy Bates. And I will not be just like this. Alright, I'm coming, you old crony ass bitch. Carillon. What the fuck is Carillon? I know I gotta go to 212 and I wanna look around first. I got a cup. I can serve some tea, the blood of my enemies. Keep giving them moth keys. Missing. Lost child, Greta Salise. Ooh, collected item. Nice. So I guess we're in an inn. Locked. You're not allowed to go in here because you're not cleaning the third floor. You're cleaning the second floor. So get your ass back there where it belongs. Yes, Master Bates. Whoa. 
Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. Uh, just don't talk to me, because you might kill me and break me with your other arm. Why was she, like, leaning against, like, a stripper? So, Did Mr. Ashman have hey. something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. It That's okay, I have a shotgun right there. Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. Ew! Oh, That's disgusting. Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. <laughs> Send him to a convent. Her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy's sweetheart. Aw, just like me! Except I don't touch my family members because it's disgusting. Oh, I can't... Hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly old faces. <laughs> Fuck these people. Hotel Ashman Inn, ex Rosso Gallo. The grand reopening, April 13th, 1973. Enjoy a romantic and exciting getaway uh, located at the base of Mount Etna, where breathtaking views are coupled with an invigorating climate, creating an enchanting picture frame to a rustic hotel. Treat yourself to an abundance of locally made organic products. You can combine items to get more powerful tools. Open the inventory and crafting. Explore the area. Collectibles. Tutorial. Survival equipment. Crafting. Throughout the end, you'll find resources that allow you to make better from defensive items. Access craft item with triangle. As soon as you craft a new item, display it in crafting menu. So be sure to check it out. Uh, equip, drop. Alright. Insecticide. Huh. Oh, create. Item. Yeah, I got a thing. I don't know what that does, but I got a thing. We got old school TV. <laughs> hmm, I can psychically open and close the or turn off and turn on the TV. I've got powers. Ooh, more moth keys. I wonder if the moth keys are like the equivalent to, um,. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice-infested suitcase. I've had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Yeah. Uh, the moth keys are like small keys in, uh, Res Evil. Oh god, will this arm ever heal? My curse to a life of hell. Oh no. Oh, is this going to do like an other world shift? Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking hell, then you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, you cunt. Ever heard of knocking? Bitch. No way. That is so last year. <laughs> okay, nobody from the 1970s talks like that. Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why don't yes. You care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. Okay, girl, can you not be such a what bitch? Are you about? Friends trying to help you. You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. <laughs> it was only an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Not guilty enough, fuck no, please. you! Please! I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. 
I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. <sighs> what are you talking about? He said you slept with him, you, you dirty whore. I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Yes. Go away, Lynn. If I was the Leave leader. Alone. No, you're, you're going to let me speak. Or I'll break your other arm. Please. Open the fucking door. <laughs> fuck you, Lynn. Fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Royal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. This isn't 70s dialogue. What the fuck? Go away. I beg you. Was this 70s British dialogue? <laughs> hey, you play as the other girl. This is how you avoid your stalkers, people. Just hide in closets. Hmm? Huh? What the hell is going on? Welcome to the other world. I'm gonna hide in here, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Are we good? Alright. Screwdriver. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Did I drop my knife? I can only have one to- oh, well, I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because I have a broken arm, but at least put the other in inventory. Hmm. Oh my god, Jen, you look like hell today. <laughs> Sit on the pisser. Then? Are you dead? Reach the lobby. Locked. D damn it! Go this away. Is a joke. I don't like it at all, Lynn. You're the one who came into my house room, my house. Take the shotgun. Oh, it doesn't work. A shovel. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> all right, cool. Room 213. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. Hmm. I don't understand why it's locked. Because there's death in there, girl. He's going to kill her. Okay. I don't know how to use the defensive items, like the... Has never been locked before. What are you thinking of? Hey, Kathy Bates, uh, can you let me out? I'm exhausted. Huh. Follow Andrea. Oh, crap. Crap! Son of a bitch! Where's Andrea? It's time to eat. What the hell? Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? Okay. I can hear I whispering. Understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? What the hell does Acheronchia do? Fail test, uncontrollable, Acheronchia proliferation. It was eating it alive. 
What the? Open. Open it. What the fuck? Oh! What did they do to you? Whoa! You know it. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What I the fuck? Open my mouth. I'll keep everything to myself. She won't find me in here. There's no way she'll find me in here. Okay, cool. Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. Be sure not to get hurt. Even when looking at something else, stalkers can notice you by the noise you make. Crafts are working, be sure. Sometimes I won't be long. Andrea, what the hell is going on with you? This is all so surreal. While they're wandering around the house, I am here, working my ass off. Like a slave. Damn. Reserve for mine. Only to other hotel rooms. Uh, two, wow, okay. The huh. only one who actually Damn! Has any work done around here is me. Damn, I guess I can't do anything at all. Whew. Hell yeah. What? Oh, oh right. Uh, okay, I get, went too fast on there. Oh, mirror. All right, so that's going to be a distraction. I don't want to turn that on. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Ah, son of a bitch, whatever. Fuck it. Turn a talking baby into a talking baby bomb. I'm going to stay sneaky. She didn't hear me, and I don't want to risk hearing me. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Fire! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Well, shit. Girl, filthy girl, stupid girl, don't, don't, stupid girl, bump, bump. Get it, get in it. God, I'm like trying to hide. I'm like, fuck, get in there. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, girl, hurry up. Working my ass off. You got Mopsy. Uh, what padlock? Please let that be the act. Oh, oh shit. Do you want to play hide and seek? Okay, can I please hide? Lady Mop. Hurry, 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 get in there! Don't let her see you! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Ah, spooky! I find you, girl, and I'll um, stab you with a scissors! Well, I got my own scissors, bitch! I got a feeling that the uh, defensive items like shovel, knife, stab, whatever, they're just gonna temporarily hit her, but not like officially end her. All right. Uh, I don't have a thing. Okay, cool. Wait, what padlock is she talking about? She's talking about here? Okay. I'll be sneaky, I'll just go this way. Uh, but I'm wondering what padlock is she talking about? Miriam Croach. Miriam Crotch? Damn, it's locked. It's locked on both sides, fuck! All right, that was pointless. Gonna be a sneaky girl. I'm just gonna sneak my way the whole way like this. I'm gonna work on my hands like this. Uh, it's my Unlocking, use the laundry room telephone, ask Elisa for help, find a way to open, use the telephone and laundry room. So I just gotta get to the lounge room. Is that it? Whee! Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't get in there? What? <sighs> okay. Okay. Am I safe? It's safe. I hear noises. I don't like noises. Whoa! Yeah, I got a rope. I can choke a bitch. Screwdriver, first screwdriver. 
Diversion? What, what the- what- What's a broken and diverter diver problem? We're gonna do some Looney Tunes shit? That's all, folks. What the hell is that dirt? Hmm. Oh, that tick tick ticking is the metronome. Okay. Oh, she went back to doing this shit. Run, 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 run! Hi! Quick, 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 quick! Get in, get in! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Oh my fucking god! I got a smoke away in time! Shit! Oh! Oh! Holy shit! Kathy, let's just go back to your sewing! Leave me Oh god. Oh god. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah! No. Oh god. Oh god. Why have Shut I ended up? Shut the fuck up! She can hear you! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we safe? Okay, I think I'm safe for now. Alright, I think this is the way to the lobby. Yeah. Fuck! Alright, uh, she's back to sewing her shit. Uh... Prepare the cable, unlock and use the laundry room telephone, ask Elisa for help. Andrea is the only one to have keys to all the locked rooms. I have to find a way to get her to open this door. <laughs> please, Andrea, I know you're possessed by the devil and uh, spawn of Satan himself, but could you please unlock this door? I need to talk to the person inside. <clears throat> yep. Lounge room. Okay. Oh, this is what they meant by the lounge room. This, this lounge room. Not like, uh... Not the main lounge. Yeah, okay. That chucked the bottle at her head. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so obviously the plan is to lure her away from the lounge room.
Uh, being sneaky, don't mind me, just being sneaky. And I'm gonna throw a thing away. I don't know exactly what, I need to find a phone. Yeah, okay, so how the fuck is rope gonna be distracting? It works. Okay, I need to call who is it, two thirteen? Okay, hold on. Go to room 213, find Elisa, ask Elisa, find a way to open room 213. Lock the, and use the telephone room lounge thing, but, yeah. Alright, so I gotta open up that somehow. I'm being sneaky, don't mind me. Cool. Maybe that'll be useful now. Still not useful. Great. Hmm. Might be things down the line over here that I can work with. I don't know, maybe. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, Carillon? What the hell is a Carillon Car anyway? Is this supposed to be a music box? I need something I can chuck. Hmm. I don't need to be here again. Where are you, gal? Yeah, drop the rope. The rope seems kind of useless. Hmm. Oh, is this room 211? Yeah, it's room 211. I have, like, so many moth keys. What's the point of the moth keys? Rope. Cool. Junk item. Damn, it's locked. Cinema room. We're going to watch porn in here. We're going to watch a lot of porn before the guests arrive. Can't craft anything. Okay. Only have it allowed to carry three things. Got it. A knife. What you got there? Knife! Okay. So, now that the uh, phone don't work, or maybe it didn't, I just go straight into whatever the hell's going on here. Let's try to get to two, room 213. I know it's a prop shotgun, but I feel like I should just take that shotgun and whack her upside the face with it. Alright. Time to be sneaky. Okay, don't need the phone anymore. 
Or maybe I do. Nothing. All right. Okay. Oh, good. She didn't see me. Oh my god, I keep forgetting this is a thing. Ah, look the other way, you dumb bitch. I'm gonna go this way. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't want him to do a mask, man. I don't think I'll be dealing with him for a while anyway, so it's fine. We're good. Seriously, there's so many prop shotguns, you just take one and whack her with it. Damn, it's locked. Maybe I gotta go through my room. Cause she must have came into my room somehow. Hmm. I don't need you. Hmm. Did she come through the back? Locked. Hide in the closet! And then I pulled out my gun! And started shooting everyone! Cause I'm trapped in the closet! There's gotta be a way she's got into here. I heard footsteps. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Did she open my door? Oh, oh. oh. Why? Why? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh my fucking god. That might be the way to open 213 though, I don't know. How the fuck does she hear from all the way over there? Does she have like super hearing as a monster? Let's see here. All right, so this is locked. All right, that goes off. Hide in here. And just see if she opens up the door. Jesus Christ! Do not look in here. Do not look in here. Oh God! I have to find Lynn. Open the door, please. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, God, she's going in my room. <gasps> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, 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 go away, go away, go away. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. I should come stop, and I hear that. Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to repair the electrical cable before I can get to Elisa? You know, at this point, this woman is a monster. She's possessed. I don't think she's gonna care if he breaks shit in the damn hotel. Just, just break open the glass on this door and like get out of there. Hmm. Did she hear that? Oh, she heard that! Oh, no! Oh, no, she heard that! <laughs> she heard me try to break the glass door. Oh, I hear tippy taps. I hear her tippy taps. I do not like those tippy taps. Okay, while we're hiding. Mom, Dad, where are you? The dead child and your sin will be too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, she's in my room. She's in my room. Do not look in here. Oh. Okay, no. Lynn, where are you? Okay, I need to see this real quick. Hello, everybody. In the previous video, we saw how to unlock the telephone in the remodeled broken porcelain horror game. Considering you need the telephone unlocked in order to get in the room 213, if you have any problems to do this task, check the video above in the top right corner. Anyway, in this video, we will discuss how to open and access room 230, where we think Elisa is leaving the room. Back to the topic, when you open the telephone, the laundry room, you can use it in order to call the room 213. To do so, use the telephone and move the directional buttons to the number you want to press. Move that to the end and wait until the phone animation ends. Repeat this process until you compose the number 213. Next, you need to use the first button that is the hashtag in order to confirm the number to call. Oh. I was doing it backwards. It's supposed to be 213 pound, not pound 213. Well, I feel stupid. Now we gotta be sneaky again. But I... She has impressive hearing for a monster. I did not expect her to have the fucking... Like, sense of a demon. And I...
Okay. Okay. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Okay. 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 All right, she's going to look. Okay. I like how she's just distracted by doing this. She doesn't even bother. Like, hmm, better stretch my leg for a bit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh. Run! Da 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 da! I'm uh, who's having fun? No fun allowed here. It's not funny at all. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's scary, old bitch. I guess that was my mistake. I guess I just ended up. Almost lost my cool there for a second. Is she back to sewing? I wish that baby was a chuckable item. Do you confirm your action? Uh oh, she's still out and about, which means I better hide. Hide. Madam, please go back to your sewing. I don't, I don't want to be, uh, you know, a bother, but I need you to, uh, go away so I can complete this mystery and get the hell out of here. Oh, good. She's back to sewing. Children. Oh. We need a desperate housewives. Alright, so now that the door is open, hopefully. Oh fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Shit, she saw me. Ah shit. And they expect her to look both ways. Hide, hide, quick, 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 quick! <laughs> oh fuck, nuggets! Oh shit, shit on a stick! Jesus! Oh 
Ay, she saw me, she saw me, she saw me, she saw me. Fuck. Is she coming? <laughs> After shitting his pants for the umpteenth time, he emerged victorious from the toy chest. Alright. Must be back to sewing. She's bitching and moaning. Eliza? Eliza? Where did everybody go? They're all dead! <laughs> Will you take this rope? No, it's useless. Hmm. More moth keys. Nice. I shouldn't have encouraged Lynn to be on top of the world. And maybe I wouldn't have almost lost an arm. What was going through your head, Lynn? Wait, so you made playing in music made you lose your arm? Alright. That's my heavy ass footsteps. Shovel. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, thank God. There's no power. Instructions. It work. I forgot your code for technical assistance. It's called 62131. Electrical cable. Oh, perfect. I can repair the uh, cable down below. Cool, so I got the cable. Yeah, that's great. This lady's just obsessed with selling. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm a sneaky little girl, don't mind me. I'm just sneaking past your shit. Not gonna deal with it. Don't be gets any work done around here it's me oh quit your belly aching I'm so tired of all this I just want to break from it all boy how do do I feel that Okay. I want it all. Ashman, Woo! But we didn't need desperate children. Okay. Don't look this way. Don't look this way. Oh, thank God. Girls, filthy girls. Girls, filthy girls. Uh. That's the next song. Girls, filthy girls. Ugh. Oh, it's just rope. Even combining with shit is kind of useless. Did did I hear her get up from her chair? Yay! Let's hide in here. Yep, okay, see, music started.
Uh, 62-131. Please just stay. Oh, good. Good. And it's all their fault. In order to factory reset your safe, insert the following code. Have they completed Three, their chores? Two. Obviously not. One. Four. Oh, never mind, I can't remember that. Girls. Girls. Yeah, well, you ain't clean yourself, lady. <laughs> Working my ass off. Okay. 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 Oh, wait till it she does her. Best if I just told him I don't work with crybabies. There we go. There we go. Whoo! Here. What was the code again? One, two, three, four. It's all their fault. God damn, you blame everybody's your problems on everybody else but yourself. Jesus, lady. No wonder nobody likes you. Knock over the vase. What was that? Dutty girls. So I I can't hear, but I keep thinking of the tune to the song "Shoes" from Kelly. Shoes, let's get some shoes. Let's party. Oh no! What could the code be? Yes! 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 Wait, did that unlock the actual door? Crap. No, wait, what? No, what? Oh, it was right there. Oh, I feel stupid. French window. Yay, I'm outside! That's cold. I'm going to die out here, aren't I? You have the balcony keys, just open them. Oh god, I'm freezing. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for being in a cold Victorian winter. Oh, fuck me. The window. I must find a way to reach it. Uh, okay. Go, go. Wait, careful that hook! Oh, good. Uh-oh. Get 
Get in there. I'm counting to three. One, two, two and a half. Not. Here I come. No, nobody wants to see you come, lady. Hmm? I'm not in the closet if that's what you're wondering. I can't take it anymore. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Scary, scary, scary. I will smash you in pieces with my own hands. I no, you swear. will not. No, you will not. Oh boy. That's plenty scary. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight's episode. Uh, thank you so much for following along. The episode will be up on YouTube later. And uh, I'll catch you for the next scary game. Bye.